everything starts with a plan and you know prepping you kickstarters are seeing like when you prep things how easier it becomes to cook during the week even if it's as simple as making a crema jalapeno lime crema to put on your tacos that part's done that's in the fridge make the crumbles early that part's done in the fridge now i just have to make you know assemble the veggies anything you can do to save time is always key because when you eat this way you're mostly making all of your food yourself which I know sounds daunting, but it's not really daunting because we keep it really simple. We use our minimally processed foods like whole grain tortillas, corn tortillas, canned beans. We try to make it as simple as possible, but let's try to make it even simpler with preparing a few things ahead of time. So for my trip, we were leaving on Friday after Frank got off work at five and I spent the afternoon running a bunch of errands because I wanted to bring things to my daughter and I had to drop our dog off. I just had a lot to do and work. So after I was finished working, um, that's, fill, that's our early day because we get our meal plans out really early. We try to get them out early, our three recipes. So Phil and I have a really early day on Fridays. So I, we did all that. Then I started running my errands. Well, I wanted to, my plan was for Friday night, we were gonna meet my daughter and go to a late dinner. And then Saturday, I planned on having breakfast, bringing breakfast. So I, you know, it's a college town. We don't need a fancy breakfast. I just wanted to bring my oats and bananas and fruit. And then I made a grocery store run and I really wanted to pick up soy milk or almond milk or some kind of plant milk that was on the shelf. So I didn't know if we we're gonna have a mini fridge in our room. I just didn't wanna bring chilled, you know, refrigerated, I mean, plant milk. So I ran to the grocery store as one of my errands. That was my plan and they were out of it. But I was in too big of a hurry that I didn't think that I, I probably could have called the hotel to see if they had a mini fridge and then I could have packed my own almond milk or soy milk. But. I ran in, they didn't have it, I left. So what I, my first little mistake was I just didn't bring breakfast. Then I said, oh, we'll find something. Well, that's when you get into trouble because, but I did, okay, so I did for the drive, which was only a three hour drive, leaving at five, I thought, okay, we're, we don't wanna be stuffed when we get there. I don't really need too many snacks, but I just brought fruit. My daughter had made reservations at a sushi place which she already knew everything they have that's vegan on the menu, which was tons of it. It was a really nice place. We got to sit outside, lots of social distancing. Well, she loves this roll that has tempura in it, veggie tempura, which yes, that is delicious. Do I want deep fried vegetables? <laughs> Not really, but you know, it's a fun weekend. Here's where I just go with the flow sometimes. If we're ordering for the three of us. Yeah, well, her friend met us as well. So four of us. Um, yeah, sure. Of course, let's get the roll. So we got that and then three other vegan rolls, all different, all super delicious. They did not have brown rice, I asked, so I couldn't get that, but I did ask. So everything was white rice. Not the worst thing in the world, but you know, I'd rather have brown. So I had the white rice. And then I did try the tempura roll and it was really, really good. And <laughs> she, she wasn't kidding. Oh, we also asked for no mayo because there's eggs and mayo. So we made sure there was no mayo and I don't think there was any anyway, anyway, in any of those rolls, but really good. I mean, it was all fresh vegetables and prepared in different ways. We had the soy sauce with uh, wasabi and the fresh ginger or the pickled ginger. I mean, super good. And I thought that was a pretty good, um, pretty good choice. It was her idea. So then we woke up early the next day and this is where I would have had the oats in the room with all our stuff, nuts, dates, bananas, you know, and that would be plenty. And then we could, our plan was to go exploring and, you know, walk around the campus. So that didn't really work out. We both had some fruit. I had a banana, I think. I'm never hungry right when I wake up anyway. So then um, there was a farmer's market. So we were walking around the farmer's market and it was really, you know, really fun and 
packed with fall goodies, but those goodies were mostly like cinnamon rolls and, you know, apple cider donuts. I see a lot of sugar and, you know, I don't personally like the um, frosting and all that on top of it. It's just too much for me. I think I, I get a stomach ache just looking at that. But zucchini muffins, these big, beautiful zucchini muffins that were like, whoa. And now my hunger's kicking in because it's been a few hours. We're walking a lot. Everybody's eating all this food. And so I, we bought one and it was really, really good. Now I know it was full of sugar and oil and that first bite, again, it tastes really, really sweet to me. I, we make our own zucchini muffins, which I love. I just don't like things that are very sweet anyway. My palate has changed. I get, I'm get i used to eating, you know, l like a low, lower sugar, sugary taste. Well, then after a few bites, it's like, whoa, that's really good. Um, so it was good. You know, it wasn't too oily or anything, but I'm sure they used oil. We asked. There was no dairy in it or anything. That wasn't the best thing I could have eaten. The oats would have been much better. And if I would have planned, you know, found the almond milk, brought the oats, I wouldn't have been eating the muffin. Now here's where things got tricky as well. What am I going to eat at a football game? You can barely bring anything besides your phone and a tiny little purse. So it's not like you're bringing lunch. And the, the game was at 11. So yes, this could send people into a little mini panic like, okay, there's not going to be anything for me to eat at the game. This is where I personally think you just have to go with the flow, you know? Obviously, I am not gonna be eating any animal products. I wouldn't eat if there was, that was all. My only choice I wouldn't eat, I would not eat, but they do have choices. They have pretzels, those giant pretzels. Do I want that? No, that's just, to me, that's too much. But they did have hummus, and they had these eggplant pitas. So we asked, you know, is any, and they said, no, it's all, there's no dairy in it at all. And it really wasn't oily, but the problem is the pita itself was refined white flour, the big fluffy white. Again, I'm not used to that. To me, I love nutty, grainy, whole grains and breads and tortillas. I love that, that, that taste now. To me, this tasted like I was eating air. It was like a fluffy white nothing. So honestly it wasn't that pleasant for me so he bought one and he bought a big hummus the hummus was really good I'm sure there was oil in it that's fine I'm gonna eat it I'm hungry but you know we were dipping that white fluffy pita bread into the hummus and I really can only have a couple I mean first of all it was super filling but I, I didn't really enjoy that and then the eggplant was really good I had a couple bites of that and that was filling as well so it's just like eggplant, tomatoes, and onions. I'm sure they grilled the eggplant with oil. You know, so we did our best, and I feel like that was a really good choice. In a situation like that, what can you do? You just have to roll with it. I'm, I'm not getting whole grain, no oil meals at the football game. <laughs> Around five, we were hungry again for dinner, and we were sitting at an outdoor pub. Well, they did have a Beyond Burger, and I was, I was not surprised on a college campus. I was really happy to see that. So my daughter and I split a Beyond Burger. And again, that wouldn't be my first choice. It was like the, you know, the bun again was the refined white flour. Um, there's nothing healthy about the patty other than it's not an animal product, which I believe is healthier. But it's, you know, it's greasy, it's oily. I don't know really even what's in those things, but it does taste like a hamburger, and I don't know, it was tasty for sure. Yes, there was a basket of waffle fries that was ordered that I had a few of those. Mostly for me, I just watch my oil intake, and I just don't think there's anything healthy about those greasy waffle fries besides them tasting good. So all in all, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the greatest. But I feel like we did the best we could with the choices we had. You know, we went to that pub because all the parents were going. Um, we would never give in to eating animal products, but they happened to have a Beyond Burger. It was dinner time. We were hungry. Where are we going? You know, so that's what we did. And it was, it was good. It was fine. I'm not beating myself up over it. I'm not saying, 
you know, oh, I messed up, I cheated, I ate all this oil, I had a Beyond Burger, I had French fries, I had a zucchini muffin, I had, you know, pita bread. Yeah, it wasn't my best day of eating, but I did the best that I could with what I had to work with. Without, I, I am not gonna, you know, traipse around the city looking for a vegan place and ask for no oil. I'm just not gonna do that. There was no time. I just wanted to be with my daughter. So you have to make your choices in the moment. And you know what? Yesterday, it was right back to eating exactly what, I'm not gonna say strictly eating, but the way I choose to eat. I choose to eat with no oil or processed food. So yesterday, it was a great day of eating. I posted our pizzas that we had last night on Ezekiel's sprouted grain. I got my sprouted grains back. I loaded them up with veggies. I made my pizza sauce with our almond parm. And one pizza is filling for me. That's like the best thing you could eat. I mean, it's so nutritious. 